My name is Mickey Lindlar. I work at TIB. I lead the digital preservation team and I also function as a technical analyst and I've been involved in digital preservation for over 12 years now. When Premise was recently awarded the 20th Century uh, Digital Preservation Coalition Award at the Digital Preservation Awards. And with that, Premise was described as the glue of digital preservation. And if Premise is the glue, that would make systems like Rosetta the tube that the glue comes in, right? So it's a way to transport those processes, the core processes that we use in digital preservation, and to actually think about whether that tube is still the correct size and whether it's made out of the right materials and who enables that around the tube. It's essentially the users and that's something we really value as TIB is with Rosetta, the community that comes with it. Um, a lot of new enhancements within Rosetta are community led. So it's digital preservation experts around the world who meet together in various Rosetta user groups and think about how the product can be shaped to meet the needs of the digital preservation community. The most important task that we as the digital preservation team within TIB have, of course, is to preserve TIB's own material. So everything that we have in the stacks, digitized materials, as well as born digital materials. But we're also involved in a number of other projects and services. Our core service that we offer to other institutions is digital preservation as a service. It's uh, tailored to any kind of institution who doesn't have the capability to preserve data on their own or who do not want to for various reasons. We have customers who are research research institutes as well as state libraries. Another project we're currently involved in is the project DEAL. DEAL is a consortium within Germany that negotiates transformative publish and read agreements with large scholarly publishers like Wiley and like Springer. And part of that agreement is a dark archive. And TIB is the entity that is responsible for maintaining that dark archive and preserving it for the long term for all of Germany. So TIB is very well networked nationally and globally within the digital preservation community. On a national level, we're involved in Nestor, the German competence network of digital preservation. On an international level, since 2010, we've been members of the Open Preservation Foundation, who is the entity who is responsible for maintaining preservation open source tools like JOV. And other networks that we're involved in is the Research Data Alliance, where TIB endorses the trust principles and we co-lead the working group around the trust principles. I think digital preservation is a very evolving field. Essentially what we do every day is applied research. And now we've reached a point within digital preservation where we can look back at about 10, 15 years of active collecting and preserving by large institutions. So I think it's really about time that we as a community take a step back, reflect, and then think of how we can actually shape our processes to work better in the long term. I'm very fortunate to work at TIB who strongly embeds digital preservation as a strategic pillar of the institution. And I think that is the future for TIB. As TIB moves to e-preferred strategy, digital preservation will play a core role in that from the get-go.